Okay, I've got a piece of paper here that I made a copy of uh, different animal tracks that you would commonly see in an eastern woodland. And I, over the top of that, I've used just regular packing tape. Uh, this is, happens to be duct tape, uh, easy start, but any packing tape will work. Uh, what I've done is I put it over there like you would do if you were going to laminate something. And then I'm going to take a towel and a little bit of water and rub it across the paper, trying to dissolve the paper. Now the the printing that I've done, I did on a Xerox copier, so it's inkjet. Now you can do it on a, a printer as well, but uh, I used the inkjet at the public library because it was easy and handy. I'm going to saturate that water pretty good. Let that sit up just a little while. And then what I do is I'm going to run my finger across it and as you can see that paper starts to come off. It hasn't soaked all the way through yet, so I'm going to add just a little bit more water. And what it's going to do is dissolve the water off. But because the inkjet is a toner uh, printed, it'll actually, the image that was on there, will actually stick to the tape. And I can dissolve the paper away. As you can see here, it's just getting thinner and thinner and coming right off. And I'll show you just real quick what it's going to do. You can see where it's up against the paper here, but here there's no paper behind it, giving it just a clear image. Now if you look over here on the staff, the walking stick, I've done it with the, the knot card that I had, which means it looks just like it's just right on the wood. Now I'll go over that with some clear fingernail polish or some polyurethane or something like that to seal it and so the, pa so the tape doesn't peel up off the wood and stuff like that. But now you've got that image right on the walking stick and you're going to have the image of those tracks right on the walking stick too. And if you look up here, I have a craft stick that I have wrapped about 50 feet of fishing line around. That's six right in that slot that I'd made earlier. And I still have this gap here that I'm going to use to put some band-aids in. And then I'm going to wrap that with athletic tape to hold all that in there. But that's some the progress that I've got working on the staff today. Thank you.